guys, Anthony here, and today we're going to look at um, what I use for forecasting the wind in Tampa Bay and take a look at iKiteSurf and the different resources available within that page. Let's get to it. Here we are on iKiteSurf's homepage. So I'll show you what I like to use specifically on this. And ah, look, a little snippet from Demo. What's up, Demo? But let's get into what's really important, even though Demo is important is the live wind function. So this is what I look at. So every time I go into iKiteSurf, I look under live wind. And let's zoom out so we can take a better look at the St. Petersburg area. And here we go. So the first thing that really catches my eyes are these arrows and the numbers next, next to them. So what that indicates is are two things, the direction of the wind and the wind strength. So let's click on the Skyway Bridge and right now it's on average 6 miles per hour. It's 4 gusting to 7 miles per hour and that's out of the north northwest. So let's take a look here. That arrow is pointing down. That indicates that the wind is coming out of the north northwest. So right behind it and this is where it could get a little bit confusing these lines that are moving indicate the forecast. So the forecast is to be a north-northeast wind, but um, this arrow right here is live. There's an actual sensor on the Skyway Bridge. There's another one in the middle of Tampa Bay, um, and then one by Apollo Beach, and those signify live wind updates. So when I'm looking at this, I'm paying a lot of attention to this yellow sensor right here. So if uh, you have the free, for, uh, free version of iKiteSurf, you won't be able to see this. You'll just see a yellow arrow. Uh, I do recommend getting the pro model if you're a kiteboarder. If you're going to get into kiteboarding and take it real serious and you want to maximize your days on the water. I've gotten so many days just because I was able to see, oh, like maybe by now, this is out of the northwest and it's showing 13 miles per hour. That signifies that a sea breeze, a good sea breeze is forming and it's worth the drive out there uh, and I will yeah, see the certain trends. But anywho, so you have the arrow, you have the number. Let's go ahead and take a look about the forecasting. So I click this and then I click Skyway Bridge and that leads me to this page right here. So again, you have the arrow you have the wind speed and the direction of the wind. Uh, it shows the trend right here. So this is important to me if I'm looking at like a sea breeze and I'm trying to forecast the afternoon. I look at the morning trend and right now it, on average it was five miles an hour gusting to 10 out of the northeast. So that's coming from the northeast, so it's a northeast wind. And that's not very strong, which indicates to me based on my personal experience in the area, that the sea breeze this afternoon won't be very strong. Anywho, let's get into um, just your layman's forecasting. So you have two. You have iKiteSurf free forecast, and then you have iKiteSurf plus forecast. And yes, they look very different. Um, <laughs> 5 p.m., you have 16 to 17 out of the north or the west northwest. The reason I know the wind's coming out of the west-northwest is from this arrow right here. So this arrow indicates um, where the wind is blowing. So if it's coming from the west-northwest, it's a west-northwest wind. And what that means, to be super basic, is that if you go to the west side of the skyway, meaning you're on the side of the skyway and you're facing the sunset, the wind will be blowing or should be blowing on your face by 5 p.m. Now, let's look. Overnight, those arrows change, and now it's blowing from the east. And so that indicates an easterly wind. So tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., if you go to the beach, you go to the skyway, you want to go to the east side of the skyway, and you want to face the side that the sun rises, because you always want a wind that blows you back to the shore. So that's what that indicates right there. Another thing is you have your wind in miles per hour or not. Um, my phone is not, my computer is miles per hour, it's weird. Um, 16 
at 6 a.m. it's 16 miles per hour gusting to 23 miles per hour so um, that's what that indicates and as you can see there is definitely discrepancy in the forecast you at 7 a.m. 16 to 24 when we look at the free forecast we have 9 to 13 now this is a good example of a difficult forecast to read and it's difficult to read really because you have different variables going on mainly storms tomorrow so in this situation I'll look at a couple different models and what's nice is within iKiteSurf both the free forecast and the plus you have different models to look at so under quick look the plus the free forecast I'll look at the GFS and here we go we can see that all right we have an easterly wind in the morning 11 to 18 11 to 16 and then it looks like rain early afternoon and then it looks on Sunday you have a northeast wind 20 to 27 18 to 22 so I remember that down here the plus I see rain again uh, late morning and then I see um, pretty strong winds behind that rain so I'll take a look same thing to get to a different model I'll take this and I'll look at the 2km model I like this model and it's showing a very similar thing so this is showing not many storms um, and this is showing strong wind all day on Saturday but I know tomorrow there will be storms and that will affect it too so different models to look at and they're constantly changing so something to be very aware of is that this quick look plus model it changes sometimes it feels like it changes by the hour uh, anywho let's go down and check out some other resources so I like this one this is something new that iKiteSurf has done is that they've done a forecast by a local meteorologist so this will give you and this is updated at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. but this is another thing to reference so I'll look at Skyway Bridge and I see this morning of 6 to 10 knots but I see that this meteorologist thinks by 4 or 5 p.m. that it'll be blowing 13 to 17 knots out of the northwest like a pretty good sea breeze um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case when I look and see 6 miles per hour right now and then yeah we'll talk about something else later anywho so I like this resource right here this meteorologist local meteorologist forecast more resources to is this marine forecast so I like looking at this as well they even have a snippet from uh, NOAA down here if you scroll down a little bit further you can see the NOAA forecast marine forecast so I look at Saturday uh, northeast wind around 15 knots uh, chance of showers early in the morning and then showers late in the morning showers likely in the afternoon that's going to change or that'll affect the wind to some extent or to a great extent and then on Sunday Sunday is looking like a good day uh, no rain or anything so I like these marine forecasts here if I scroll down further I have more information I have tides and tides very important so this is right by the Skyway Bridge so this will indicate my low tide it will indicate my high tide um, and I can always set it as well to different locations but yeah this is kind of a general overview of the main functions that I use from iKiteSurf if you don't have the Pro um, or the Plus subscription it's worth having um, you'll definitely get more days on the water and I hope this helps if you have any questions definitely leave a comment check out my blog post uh, if you want more information or more visual graphics and hope to see you on the water